happy Monday. I wanted to share some tips about easing into eating less sugar, or eating low carb. I just shared some of the benefits of eating less sugar because, you know, many of us don't realize how unhealthy it is to eat so much sugar or you don't realize how much sugar you're actually eating. There are really so many uh, foods that have hidden sugars in them or even foods that we think is healthy but it's actually loaded with extra sugar and carbs and so those are not doing us any good and i shared um, a few days ago some um, healthy snacks that actually have a lot of sugar and carbs in them even natural sugars can you know wreak havoc on our um, on our blood sugar on our metabolism you know causing us to have these energy crashes and everything and so I want to help you eat less sugar start having more energy and you know reaching your weight loss goals because a lot of us want to look and feel our best and sometimes that starts with just making some simple swaps. And so a lot of what I share are simple swaps for busy moms that anyone can do. So tonight I am sharing three different tips to help you ease into eating low carb. Um, this is something that I've been doing for many, many, many years because I found the benefits of eating less sugar just outweighs so much. You know, not, not even just the way that you look and feel, your confidence, losing weight, you know, fitting into your skinny jeans, not just that, but your your health too, how you feel, you know, uh, your sleep, your, um, you know, if you eat a lot of sugar, you tend to get sick. You know, there's just so many things, you know, we talked about inflammation, you know, and, um, you know, your joints hurting and everything like that can be tied to eating too much sugar. And so this is something we want to get under control. And like I said, it can be as simple as some swaps, some simple healthy swaps so that you can eat less sugar every single day because your success is found in your daily habit. It's those 1% changes that add up over time and and that is where you are going to find your success. And so we're gonna share three simple tips. So the first thing is, I personally, this is how I just got started, is I started with one meal a day. And I was like, listen, if I can, if I can make one meal a day low carb, um, then I know that at least for that meal, I'm gonna, you know, have, uh, I'm gonna have a healthy protein, I'm gonna have a healthy fat, I'm gonna eat, um, what green vegetables low carb vegetables um and get that fiber that keeps me full and so i'm gonna make that one meal a day and then i can figure out the rest and build around that but if i start with one meal a day i know that i can do that every single day and it's not overwhelming and it's not confusing and i can stick to that right because that's why most people give up because they feel like they can't do it long term because it's overwhelming at first so they never even get started so if you start with one one meal a day then you can do that every single day and you can add to it because healthy habits they add up over time because every time that you make a healthy habit you say oh my gosh I did it and I feel good and I'm gonna do it again and I'm gonna add more things in so start with one meal a day now for me I started with dinner you know you can start with breakfast because I do think it's very important to start your day off your breakfast with a low carb meal because if you're you're already in fat burning mode there's a lot of science behind it too but you're already in fat burning mode when you wake up and so you want to fuel your body the right Right way so some you know low carb breakfast it can be as simple as a low carb smoothie uh, or fat burning coffee um, some eggs some uh, eggs with avocado on top there's so many yummy things you can have that are low carb for breakfast and I actually have a video that's all about you know uh, low carb breakfast ideas so if you need some ideas to help you with that but pick with one meal a day start with that fuel your body the right way and it will help you make healthy choices long term because you'll add on top of that because you're like I did it I feel good I can do lunch tomorrow okay so the second thing is to switch out your sugary drinks now full honesty here this is something that I learned a long time ago that you should not be drinking your calories and so that's something that I avoided forever but I didn't make the healthiest decision because I started drinking sugar-free drinks that were filled with aspartame which honestly is probably worse than sugar because aspartame there's so much that it's tied to like that it could be causing cancer and different things like that so once I finally uh, heard the truth 
about even sugar-free drinks, you know, I learned that, wow, there's actually some sugar-free altern or sugar alternatives, sugar-free options that are actually healthy. And so I went from, uh, you know, Diet Coke, the worst thing on the planet, you know, all of this stuff filled with, well, I'm gonna say, uh, I need to watch my language because there's some words that I don't wanna say on live. <laughs> But I think that it's, you know, the uh, aspartame is cancer causing. And so I went from drinking that to only drinking water. But, you know, water sometimes can get old. And so then it was just like, gosh, I want something else. I want to drink some things that don't have sugar in them, but that actually are sweetened with stevia or some of those healthy alternatives like monk fruit. And so then that's what, you know, that's what I drink now are finding, you know, uh, lemon lime uh, sort of drinks and things like that that keep you hydrated but without the sugar and so those are some simple swaps that I've made um, that can help you and I'm telling you if you can make simple swaps like that then you won't even miss the sugar but you would be surprised how many of us drink our calories and the bad thing about that is that it's bad for your metabolism like I said with your sugar uh, whenever you drink too much of those uh, sugar high sugar drinks then you have a huge surge in your blood sugar and then you'll have a crash not too long after like maybe an hour after you are you know snoozing at your Desk because you had way too much sugar and so to avoid that just avoid those sugary drinks altogether because there is like no value in drinking those even fruit juice just juices and all of that they have way too much sugar so avoid sugar drinks and switch them out for healthier sugar free alternatives like i said drinks that are sweetened with stevia monk fruit things like that avoid all of those chemical sugar uh, alternatives because those are not good for you and i um i drank them for way too long and so thankfully i don't know i wised up about 13 years ago so hopefully i've detoxed enough to get that all out of me but I went from being addicted to Diet Coke to thankfully now I can say that I haven't touched that stuff in a very, very, very long time. But these are three tips to help you ease into eating low carb and saying no to the sugar, but also making healthier uh, choices too. So you're not just saying no to the sugar and then introducing some of those um, not so healthy sugar alternatives. Um, but if you want help with healthy keto snacks, I put together a list of 26 different keto-friendly snacks so that you can pick, you know, what are you going to snack on to keep you full, not just keep you full for 45 minutes, but to keep you full for four hours, for two hours, because that's the problem is whenever you fuel your body the wrong way, you're always hungry because you're never giving your body what it really needs. What it needs is protein and healthy fat, and then it needs fiber, like from those, you know, vegetables and everything like that to keep you full, but not with all the carbs because the carbs are not keeping you feel full and they're not doing you any good in the sense of helping you reach your weight loss goal. So hopefully these tips helped you ease into eating low carb and staying on track for reaching your goals. Even, you know, in August, in the heat of the summer, you can lose weight, you can feel your great, you can feel great, you can feel your best, you can start making healthy choices and it starts with one, take it one day at a time.